Today I'm going to attempt to fix this thread that's messed up on my spigot. Um, not realizing that it was actually probably soldered in there. I had a guy help me try to unscrew this. But it is not budging. So, so this is the tool I purchased. Mr. Thread Cleaner. It says it will clean threads on hose taps. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough to actually re thread the hose spigot. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, let's see what happens here. With any luck. With any luck. I did bring a wire brush for my drill out too, in case I have to clean up the threads a little bit to get it started. And you use a 3 8 inch socket for the Mr. Thread Cleaner. Let's we'll see if we can get it threaded. Okay. get in the way of your cutting tool so you want to clear that out once in a while. Don't just keep forcing it. Or Yay, Mr. Thread Cleaner! <laughs> show you what caused the problem. See, this is a faucet I bought with a new backflow preventer faucet back poker here. See this has a set screw on it and the previous owners of the house or the construction crew or whatever tighten this down so much and it snaps off right there. It's a little, see how narrow it is. I guess it's meant to snap off so you can't get it back out again. Well that was the case here. Unfortunately it was leaking terribly or it failed inside here and the water was just pouring out when I turned the faucet on. So, as I said, we couldn't get this off. Didn't realize that faucet is soldered. We tried to unscrew it, but you can't unscrew the solder part. Anyway, here we are. So we forced it, we got a wrench on each, and forced this off, and this screw ripping at the threads the whole way. And that's how the threads ended up like this. Mr. Thread Cleaner to the rescue. Metal 
shavings come off of it. I think that might do it. Like that. Inside the Mr. Thread Cleaner cutting tool, thread cutting tool. Big difference. I think I got the threads all the way to the end. Actually, there's a little sharp pieces here in the cutting. I'm gonna go just a little bit further and see if that'll take that off. And if not, I'll use my use my drill with the wire brush. See some metal shavings there, so it did cut through the messed up threads pretty good. Did a good job. I'm glad because at first I was thinking it would just clean up calcium and rust and stuff. And after. And carefully get it past that point. do it by hand as well. Um, still a little sharp. Pretty good. So inside the tool you can see dust and dirt and rust and probably some metal shavings. I'm going to use this on my front faucet too because it's exposed to the elements. So now to stay legal with the city, put one of these on there. I'm not going to break off the screw. I'm not going to break that. That makes me happy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us today. Please like and subscribe. And now we'll move to the front faucet and play with it. This is so much fun now that I know it works well. Here's the front. Here's the front spigot. It's uh got a couple of little gnarls in it here and it's painted over so I'm going to start with my ratchet wrench. A lot easier than the back yard. It's not, the threads are not damaged to the point they were back then. That's the end of it. There we go. Took care of all the gnarls. Cleaned off most of the paint. Looks good.